Hi everybody, we're here with another Lego set review. Yep, what's everybody. These? Yep, we're here with Enzo. My bro, high hey, five. Hey. Yeah. All right. So this is set seven five nine two eight, ages seven to twelve. Dress Girl Fallen Kingdom. Again, nice artwork on the side. Yep. And the box is actually really nice. I really like it. I got it at Walmart. And the set's it, the set is forty bucks. Well, we both got it at Walmart. Yep. I, yep. We both came together, and we used both of our money, right? Uh huh. And we actually bought it. Yay. Here, um, it shows some features like the like the tow winch, the cage for blue, the shooting thing, and blue chasing the guys and. Also has the build your own hybrid and stuff like that. Now let's get on to the review. So let's start with the dinosaur. This is a, this is the actual blue, not baby blue. Baby blue doesn't even come in the set. You can see the difference. I look how big. Look at the size difference. Like, different. Look at this such cute view. Oh shoot. Yeah, you brought that one from a different set, right? Yep. This one doesn't come with this set. Hey! Alright. Why are you just running me on the video, right? I don't this really know. Cool. You were just here. Yeah. This blue looks a lot more detailed than the, than the first blue from Jurassic World, number one. Uh, this one has a lot more blue on him, I yeah, think. Yeah, because his name is Blue. And this one's like a different kind of green. This one's a more brighter green. Let me see. I didn't, I didn't realize that. And the, and I really like these legs. <coughs> this is a brighter green than the than blue from Jurassic World number one. And yeah. Yeah. Actually, this one looks more natural than. I noticed that. Here we have. <coughs> Um, here we have, uh, here we have, um, this car, or ATV, the set comes with, it's carrying this thing right back here, like, luggage or stuff, comes with a spare tire, like, just put there, spin. Do they make any Jurassic Park 3 sets? Yeah, back in, like, the very early 2000s, they did. Did they make, um, called Lego with, Studios. Did they make ones with raptors? Because yeah, we don't have to make feathers on the heads. Raptors so. look pretty stupid, though. For sure, it's not for sure. Did um, they put feathers on the heads? No. I don't think. Yeah, it's, it's got the red and... It's red and gray on it. And it's got... We got six wheels, seven if you count this one, and it's a one seater right here. Oh shoot, the stickers kind of peeling off, but that's a sticker. It's really nice. Yep. Yeah, I like this mold right here. I I I don't usually buy Lego City sets, so I don't. So I think this might have been Lego City sets, but I never gotten it before. So yeah. Yeah. Um. This could sit, this could fit one person on there, and I guess you could fit one person in here, but that's supposed to be like to carry the egg from there and stuff. Alright. It comes with Owen, the main character of the movie, or player could be the main character, however you want to look at it. Um, yeah, Owen's one of the most common characters in the series. Um, this hairpiece is not new anymore. I like his face print. We could use that for Star Lord if we wanted. Yeah. Right here. Because Chris Pratt plays in both of them, right? Yep. Right here we got that crossbow from 2017, I think. Yeah. Maybe 2016. Yeah, probably 2016 actually. Actually, maybe even 2015. I don't remember. It's. I mean, no, no one's excited for the same or. But yeah, it's kind of like a stud shooter now. Oh shoot! Well, I lost the stud. I'm gonna look for it after I make the video. Alright. Right here, Owen, he has his backpack on. It's. Ok. 
Okay. Uh, you got like a nice happy face expression. You got, got a nice vest on and that shirt. And that's a pretty cool jean. <coughs> This is a good face print to me. Yeah, I like oh I like the Owen in there. Yeah, probably one of my character, one of my favorite characters from Jurassic World, in Lego and in the movie. He is my favorite. Character. Um, his back printing is fairly simple. Oh shoot. Uh, Yeah, she got, all, she got back, torso printing. Another character is Ken, Ken Wheatley, I think. I think this movie's called Ken Wheatley. Something like that. Oh, shit, I'm not focusing. Sorry about that. Um, he has, he has like a dinosaur tooth from the movie. And a tranquilizer. I didn't, I didn't really like the char this character in the movie. Did you, Enzo? Uh, no, because it was, like, really dumb. Yeah. Only in one scene, though. We're not going to spoil it, though. Of course. I like that. I like that printing on the back. But the problem with these two characters is that both of them come in... Or, or not really that one. I mean, he does come in the set, but... The problem about these two th things is they both come inside of the Indoraptor Rampage set. So if you're gonna buy all of the all the all the sets, then yeah, you should buy this. Or if you want a cheaper way to get blue, you should buy this. But if you're really gonna get the Indoraptor Rampage, you should probably not buy this. I mean, I, I bought a, but I might get the Indoraptor Rampage. We'll see. Yeah. Pocket. I think that's a new face print. I might be mistaken, though. Yep. Alright. Now, this is Blue's cage or oh, trap. Yeah. What the open. hell is this? Huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, God. Look. It's a, I caught a ditto. Cool. Okay, so. Well, that's just a free game. It's um, yep. It's Magic Carp thing. I don't. I don't really know. Uh, uh, open up the stuff. This is a small cage thing to capture blue. <coughs> nice. It has a chicken wing piece right here. Like you can imagine, like blue just walks on in, tries to get the chicken, and then the trap works so that it closes. Oh, no. Let's get down. Uh, yeah, I had the set for a few weeks just to see how what I actually thought about the set. So that, yeah. Very nice. Complete build and stuff. You put the plants there to like trick blue into thinking that's natural and stuff. Yeah. Oh my god, I almost forgot. It also comes with a tracker guy, except he's called the pilot, so he's the tracker <coughs> pilot. That's actually now a really common face print. But I like it. It's pretty useful. Not sure. No, no back face printing. Yeah, that, the torso and the legs are really common now because there's so many trackers. <coughs> he goes with the aviator helmet with these goggles. Yeah. That. And some red pants. Like, I like I like the details on his shirt and torso. It's just it's, it's kind of boring now that there's so many of them. Do, do you like these characters, Enzo? Um... Like maybe you could build an army of them. Oh, yeah. Trackers. Like, not yeah, the movies. I liked those characters. They're... Yeah, they're not... But they're not really in the movie too much. 
Over here, we're gonna move on to the actual helicopter build itself. This is a really nice one. Yeah, at the bottom, you can make it fly. Right here, you see this knob right here? You can actually spin the blade of the rotors with that. I really, I really like that feature. They, I'm starting to wonder why didn't I ever think about this kind of feature to put inside a helicopter. I don't know why I ever made a helicopter with that feature yet. This might be the first one. Alright, the helicopter, there's a sticker that says JW16N15. I don't know what that means. Um, this is like a... It's um tranquilizer gun, a machine gun thing. Like, you can rotate pretty good because it's on the, it's on the ball joint, it makes those ball joints. Inside here has two seats, one on here and one on the other side. You can fit a person on it. I guess Owen. There's three seats and there's three characters, so I guess all three characters are supposed to be this is seat number two, where I guess Ken Wheatley could be. Also, this is like a flashlight thing, and light. It can rotate very well, nice, nice movable, movability. It's attached by uh, Mixel's ball joint, too. <coughs> the set has some landing gears right there, and let me show you this tow winch later. And, um... Oh yeah, I like the front landing gear because it has this light right there and it like rotates around and stuff. So I like the cockpit. <sighs> this is like this is like a big piece. Yeah, it's like a big piece. And inside the cockpit there's one seat for the pilot and a and this joystick. Also inside of the set you can get uh, you can you get a print, a nice print. It's pretty nice. Um, you get a Jurassic World sticker on the tail stuff. Overall, this is a pretty sturdy build, except for this part right there. It's, it falls off a lot when I play with it. Stop it, that's all. Huh. Let me reattach the cockpit right here. I'm gonna play on my phone. Alright, buddy. <coughs> you go do that. Back here. Like the t oh, no. you, you can't see it too well, the angles. Like over here, if you detach this right here. Oh, shoot. It's really hard to do. Really hard to do while I'm filming this. I only have one hand free. This thing attaches to there with this thing. It comes with one tranquilizer for the pilot guy. Inside here, there's an egg. Can I come steal it? Okay. I'll just reattach this later. Oh yeah, it's got some window pieces over here. And over here, <coughs> windows, nice windows. <coughs> Yeah, it's 40 bucks. I think, I think it's probably worth it. Yeah. Yeah, the stud shooter works like this, by the way. Oh, there's the piece. <sighs> the thing I hate about these stud shooters is that usually I kind of lose the studs. Good thing to come with a lot of extras usually, so... I mean, that's... That's kind of cool. Did they do that? <coughs> Alright. Let's take a look at the instruction booklets. There's two instruction booklets. The first one, you build this, this um, ATV and loose cage. <coughs> blue. Yeah. Yeah. Right here, this is just for the helicopter. Oh, I gotta get the box. Oh, yeah, here's the box. 
Oh wait, I should have done this. Alright. Well, yeah. That's pretty much it for the set. Yep. So, bye everybody. Yep, bye guys, and this is the set. And, yeah, I think it was worth it. It was worth 40 bucks. And... Wait, 40 bucks? Yeah. For 30 bucks. Oh no, we got a rollback. It's it's just supposed to be forty bucks. But yeah, it was it's worth forty bucks. Yeah, there's three hundred ninety-seven pieces. Not bad. Very good. All right. Well, bye.